Did you know that many of Europe's most famous buildings took many of their designs from the Muslims? You see, in 2020, a journalist by the name of Diane Dark wrote a book called Stealing from the Saracens. And what's interesting about the title was the word Saracens. It was a word used by the Crusaders when talking about the Muslims. And one theory is that it comes from the Arabic word Sariqeen, meaning thieves. So she's saying that the Europeans stole from the Muslims even though they used to call the Muslims thieves. Anyway, in this book, she claims that many of Europe's most famous buildings buildings such as the Notre Dame in France or Big Ben in Britain were heavily influenced by the Muslim world. For example, the trefoil arches are a three-lobed shape often used on churches and are a symbol of the Trinity. They were taken from buildings in the Muslim world such as the Cordoba Mosque. Another technique called rib vaulting in many of these buildings was also taken from the Muslims, especially from Muslim Spain. Many buildings with domes as well were directly inspired by the Dome of the Rock, which was built by Muslims during the Umayyad Caliphate and Muslims were famous for their pointed arches which were later brought to Europe. And finally, you have the stained glass windows which were super popular in European churches and were also brought over by the Muslims. Many of these architectural features were brought over to the Christian world from Spain where Muslims had ruled there for 800 years and had built mosques and palaces which still stand today. Other designs were brought through Italy where the ports of Amalfi and Venice were famous for being hubs of trade between Europe and the Muslim world. And the island of Sicily as well was part of the Muslim Caliphate for 300 years. And all these claims of Western countries stealing from the Muslims is fine and all, but I think it's missing a bigger picture. You see, Westerners can make the same claim about Muslims as well. For example, one of the most prolific architects in Muslim history was Mimar Sinan of the Ottoman Empire. He built some of the most iconic masjids and created that distinctive Ottoman style that is still used till this day. And one of his biggest sources of influence was the Hagia Sophia. And even though it's a mosque now, it was a originally built as a Christian cathedral by the Romans. The Muslim and Christian worlds have a long intertwined history together. Rivals on the world stage, alliances have been made, trade routes have been built, there have been times of war, times of peace. And while we Muslims do not compromise on our religion in any shape or form, is there really a problem if we take architectural designs or food recipes or mathematic concepts from each other? Like and follow for more Muslim facts.